Hi, this is Pete Singer, editor of Semiconductor Digest, and I'm here at Semicon West 2023, and I'm in the Advanced Energy booth talking to Jurgen Brown. Hi, Jurgen. Hi, Pete. <laughs> and they've just introduced two new products. One is the Everest um, RF power generator, and the other is the EVOS waveform generator. So, Jurgen, can you tell us first about what, what the Everest is uh, all about? Yes, absolutely. So, Pete, I'm very excited that we have the product launch of these two new technologies today. And the Everest is our latest and greatest RF technology platform with which we are delivering very advanced process capability to the semiconductor industry, such as multi-level dynamically controlled processes. And we are providing a very stable RF output solution with this new generation of device, which is also very fast and enables sub-nanometer processing. Okay, very good. And the EVOS, it's a, a waveform generator. Can you tell us about that? The EVOS is a asymmetrically pulsed DC bias generator, which is actually transforming also the industry capabilities. With traditional sine wave technologies, you have very broad and uncontrolled, type of uncontrolled energy ion distributions. And with our new proprietary waveform, we are controlling the ion energy distribution and are providing very small and sharp distribution patterns that enable very high aspect ratio edge capabilities. Okay. And I understand that AE's Power Insight functionality also runs on these, these tools? Yes, so Power Insight is actually a very interesting add-on that we are using data collection to actively drive actionable results on power control solutions. So we are collecting data, we are um, processing these data out of the generators and using them to drive controls. Okay. And I understand also that this uh, employs modular software. Can you tell us a little bit about Absolutely. that? So that's actually uh, one of the key changes from previous technology nodes. With the Everest, we are first time moving to a modular architecture, which is not only hardware modular, but also firmware modular designs, which will enable us to very speedy respond to customer requirements and changes in functionalities. We are putting a software module that is embedded by a bus technology and without basically cracking other codes, we are simply adding functionality and that enhances the speed of our development capabilities. Okay. Well, thank you, Jürgen, very much. Appreciate it.